G'day, uh, this is just a short tutorial on how I do my cutouts. Uh, I've used this setup here because this is the wolves that everybody seems to like at the moment. Uh, we'll start with tools. I unashamedly will promote my painting brushes tools. They are the best you can have and everybody should have some especially this little baby, the universal connector which allows you to connect all the various tools plus you can use your own made up tools get one, get three this is a priority in any light painter's arsenal right now cutouts uh, I use uh, just ordinary thick card which is thick enough to go through the printer but also gives it a bit of strength. Uh, this is only a short piece, normally it's A4 size I work with and if I'm doing a really big one I break it down in paint and printing sections. Uh, sizes of the cutouts, these vary if I'm worrying about any kind of ratio so you know you've got to have a small one at the front and a big one at the back or whatever then I'm very careful otherwise if it's just an individual shot like the wolves I don't worry about what size they could be any size now some of you will remember there's uh, Jack the Ripper and this fellow you'll remember probably Batman in the tunnel so as you can see, they're not big, they don't need to be big. The only time I ever use a really big one is when my lady friend here, Silhouette, I use her when I go out and tube because she's uh, about four foot tall and she allows me to still use tubes without a real model. Now, okay, set up. Firstly, these are about two and a half inches high as you can see. Uh, there are cutouts and all I've done on the back, I don't know if you can see that, is I've got coloured cellophane paper red there for their eyes. Now for a ground service I've just spread some sand and deep enough that I can stand them up just like that and that's all they are. They're no more, no more complicated than that. You can use anything, just please if you're downloading them off the internet make sure you only take free ones, ones you're illegally allowed to use. Now, lighting. For this particular setup, I had a red light printing brushes uh, hooded gel, shooting a red light across there. I have a yellow one here, which came down behind. Uh, it's not quite behind at the moment, but it came right down behind. Now, in front of the yellow, and I do this with a lot of my light paintings, this is just ordinary laminating sheets. The A3 laminating pouches you can buy in any, any stationery store. I cut them in half, and I hang one in front of the light. Now, well, the reason I do this is because I find that you get this sort of almost smoky effect, and it also gives a, a way of changing colours. Don't ask me how it works, but it does. I like the effect. Now, what you can't see here in this particular one, I use my smoke machine. So, because I'm using my smoke machine, I fire it from the front and under the table, so it comes up behind and in front. And... Uh, I watch my live view on my camera and when I see the smoke envelop where I think it should be I then press the shutter. Now generally I work on around about f8 to one with one second sometimes I'll go up to f11 depending if I want limited light I might go more but this is the sort of thing you'll have to find out for yourself but uh, it really is a simple thing to do it's just a matter of using your imagination and working with what you have now one of these babies is essential uh, I personally use the young Nuo RF what have we got here 43N remote and this allows me to be anywhere especially if I want to fire another color an instant flash onto something 
You can do it without it, but I would suggest you have a decent remote. Uh, and uh, the rest is just imagination. And you can see how simple the walls were. Four pieces of card cut out, stuck in some sand, experiment with the lighting. I, I can take as many as a hundred shots when I'm doing these things to get them right until I find one that I'm happy with. It's just a matter of go with the flow. See what you get. Now I hope this has helped you in some way. Uh, you can always ask me questions obviously on Facebook if there's nothing you're not sure about or whatever. But as I say, just use your imagination and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.